show the ground. Yeah, it's a bit soggy. Uh, last year, when the Commonwealth Games authorities approached us and uh, needed someone to step in to host the 2026 Commonwealth Games, uh, as a state we were happy to help out, but of course not at any price and only if there was lasting benefit for Victorian communities and benefit for the whole state. What's become clear uh, is that the cost of hosting these games in 2026 is not the $2.6 billion which was budgeted and allocated and is sitting, uh, vast, vast majority of which has not been spent. Uh, it's not $2.6 billion, it is in fact at least $6 billion uh, and could be as high as $7 billion. And I cannot stand here and say to you that I have any confidence that that even $7 billion number would appropriately and adequately fund these games. I think it could be more than that. Now there's a whole range of reasons for that. And today's not about uh, finding fault with those cost estimates. The uh, Games will not proceed uh, in Victoria in 2026. Uh, we have informed Commonwealth Games authorities of our decision um, to seek to terminate the contract uh, and to not, conduct, not, not host the Games. Uh, meetings occurred, amicable and productive meetings occurred in London last night and they will again continue uh, London time uh, later on uh, today.